find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. One question. Is it too late to change the name? Hello, Internet. Today's January 13th, 2015, and this is the Rambling Movie Minute, where we talk everything movies from the week before, current, and still yet to come. Uh, hey, I am from Pittsburgh. I'm in Pittsburgh. I am Rambling Mango. Also in Pittsburgh, in studio, oh, is uh, yes. Sorg of Sorgatron. I'm here. Hello, at Sorgatron. We got guests in here in studio, by the way. You're going to have a little bit of guest action going on here during the show. Um, um, checking us out. Uh, so, uh, yeah, at Sorgatron on the Twitters, uh, live in the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. I'm ready to talk movies. I'm glad to have you back on. After the Mac and Mike and Mike show last year or last week, I'm sorry. Last week. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Speaking of the other, the other Mike and the Mike and Mike show from New York, our New York connection. How's it going, Mad Mike? Woo! I'm doing fantabulous, Malengo. I am excited for everything Marvel and nothing DC, kinda. Mm, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I guess they're, they're still coming out, but you know, we'll see. That's why I say kinda. That's why I say kinda. <laughs> kinda sorta. Kinda sorta. Right. Oh, guys. So, uh, you guys saw the trailer of the week? Yes. I was uh, misconformed. I thought you guys probably saw this trailer long before I did because it, what was that Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. spinoff? Agent, Agent Carter? Yes. Carter, which we will be talking yeah. about later. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, I just saw the trailer and I don't know. I don't know what to think. It's I wasn't that excited about it. Malengo. He rides a goddamn ant. I think that's the th- I like I think the whole concept of just shrinking and riding like mechanical ants and stuff. They're not mechanical Are ants. they real? It, I could not tell in the trailer. They are he shrinks down to the size of an ant. He communicates with them, he can control them, and he can ride them. Yeah. I guess I just never was into ants. I'm one of those. I'm one of those guys. As a kid, insects wait, were just wait, like. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Malango, Malango, were you a fan of Honey I Shrunk the Kids? Yes, I was. Okay, Excellent. now imagine Honey I Shrunk the Kids, but it's a superhero instead of a couple small snot-nosed kids that actually accidentally got shrunk or a baby, for instance. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, you know, and, and plus way better graphics than what we had back then. Although those practical effects were amazing back then. Yes, yes, all of all of what Sorg said. Imagine Robert Downey Jr. is the main star of Honey I Shrunk the Kid right. instead of four child actors you've never heard of. Exactly. Instead, <laughs> Paul Rudd. <laughs> See, that's a that's the other problem. That Paul Rudd, I actually like him, but I think the movies that I have associated with him with don't work for this. So, like, even the line where he's like. You know, can we change the name or are you set on like the that like that whole last comment? It was just like, are you trying to be funny, Paul Rudd, or is this like your well see Malengo, that is your that is your inner geek not showing again. Because um <laughs> Hank Hank Pym has changed his superhero name many a time. So that's that's kind of a it's kind of a nod. So basically, I'm just not informed. See, I, I, I'll be honest. I just never was into Ant Man. So I guess that's where the excitement for this. But that's just, the thing. Nobody uh, was just like nobody was ever in. Never a fan of Iron Man. I don't know. We're getting some echo on one of you guys there. So please check your settings there real quick. Um, but 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 this is a chance for us to become fans of Ant Man, and then the show is to uh, hopefully a new audience here. And then you're going to be just sick of Ant Man comics and spinoffs and the inevitable cartoon in the year afterwards. So, but I'm not worried. I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that Marvel can make a uh, 
talking raccoon and a talking tree work, a guy that rides insects is mm -hmm. going to be just fine. Certainly. Certainly. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get rid of the echoing uh, noise. That's all right. That's the all right. Noise. While you're getting that set up, I guess we can move on to uh, – I, I can get a – you have the box office link in here? It's it's missing. Do you do you know this off the top of your head, sir? Well, it's missing. I'm back. Okay. You want to go on? What's with, missing? Oh, uh, the box office. I'm just I just didn't have the link in there. Right oh, there. box office missing. <laughs> That's okay. I got uh, it now. I don't know. <laughs> but um, fantastic. Well, I got on. it. I got it right here. Box office top. Uh, top take for the weekend. Uh, tech taken. Yeah, Tekken three. Taken. Actually, I've seen it. I've seen it. I don't know how many times. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, Tekken three was an amazing such and such. And I'm like, wait a minute. And I have to take a second look because I've seen it so often. I don't know why my mind is on that. Uh, brought in thirty nine million, followed by Selma at number two with eleven million, and Into the Woods still out there with uh, uh, about nine and a half million. Uh, but, hey, what else are you going to watch? But Taken at this point. Other yeah, than, other I don't know. I I don't. I also don't think uh, Selma was. Um, the wide, wide release. release, yeah. But uh, I mean, I, I've seen, I mean, gosh, I've seen three of these. Um, Taken, Taken was a farce. It was a scam. It's Taken three point five. Really? <laughs> two point five. Why? Why is it two point five? It's three point five because he did that other movie where he's like walking through. Stop. He did not. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. That was just taking a plane. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah, he did do that. So this is more like Taken 4. I'm thinking uh, the other one that came out like uh, late last year where it's just like stones. I wish I could find that, <laughs> that movie. <laughs> Him in front of a bunch of tombstones. Uh, uh, all right, so, so, we're, so Taken is just horrible. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're done. Uh, somebody at work made a great great comment they're like uh so who gets taken in this movie and the response was nobody just his freedom well technically his wife's life gets taken I, right i guess but he's not he's not saving anybody that has been taken uh box office this okay so it's really good. took yes took <laughs> took in took in one the spinoff of taken took one Oh, jeez. Let's get into some news. Oh, my gosh. That, what? That other movie was literally called A Walk Among the Tombstones. It was. Uh, yes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, man. Yeah, he's played himself into, like, this, this like, action hero thing, which I don't know. You know, you know when I, I completely forgot about it and I realized today, um, Liam, Liam Nielsen, Nielsen is, uh, is Darkman? Like I don't remember that he was Darkman, like in the original. Oh yeah. Uh, I need to rewatch oh, yeah. it now. Yeah. I love Darkman back in the day, but um, but anyways, Malango, <laughs> tell me uh, what, what anything good come out of the uh, Golden Globes here? So I'll be honest, right off the bat, I, I did not watch the Golden Globes. Nope. Um, I, I watched some of them. Watch some of them. I wanted to see Tina Fey and. Uh, and Amy Poehler, uh, but after three years, like I don't know that like well, that's like your selling point. Like, come watch the Globes because they're going to be hosting again. It starts to get to, I uh, I just I wasn't that. What was like what does Mike you, you or yeah Ben I'm, Mike you said you watched some of them. Was there <laughs> anything that was surprising? I know I'm pretty Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Uh, what was that? The transparent. I heard transparent one like three major awards, which was, like, big. Well, just the fact that, like, the big networks did not win. Uh, like, CW, Amazon, uh, PBS, like, they were the ones that were winning a lot of the awards for TV. Nice. So, I, I, just, I just thought that was really kind of funny. Like, oh, I guess ABC, NBC, Fox, and CBS don't have good television anymore. <laughs> Wow, I didn't realize that the Grand Budapest uh, beat out Birdman for uh, best motion best motion picture uh, musical or comedy. That's interesting. Yeah. That just sounds disappointing. I want to see Birdman so badly. Yeah, I still need to see that. 
Birdman actually won a lot. How to Train Your Dragon 2 beat out Best Animated Feature. I'll talk about that real quick. I tried to watch Box Trolls, and I could not watch it. I couldn't get through it. I don't know. Horrible. Yeah. Uh, Book of Life, I watched that. I thought that was pretty interesting um, for a small studio. I rewatched Big Hero 6. I have to say I liked it uh, the second time watching it, but I don't think it was as good as um, the other Disney one, uh, Wreck-It Ralph. I still think Wreck-It Ralph was better. Uh, yeah, so the big two movies here, the Lego movie and How to Train Your Dragon 2. Wow. I, I give props to How to Train Your Dragon 2 for winning because that they dealt with some dark stuff there. <laughs> And, and this I didn't I didn't realize until somebody tweeted this that it was actually I think directed by Robert Kirkman who is the creator of The Walking Dead. Wow. Yeah. Huh. That that kind of puts your head around that that How to Train Your Dragon too after that doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. But, huh. Let well, that settle I mean, in for is... a moment. What's that? Let that settle in for a moment. <laughs> I'm just I'm just wondering if we're going to see zombie dragons in How to Train Your Dragon Three. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I hope not. Uh, no, no. Best... Zombie dragon would be the most terrifying thing in the world. Wait, well, hey, was this was this surprising to anybody? I heard from a lot of people that Fargo was good. Fargo beat out True Detective for best TV movie or miniseries. That is a little surprising, but Fargo, I think, also had a full season, while True Detective just had the eight episodes. The eight-hour episodes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That was interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Billy Bob Thurn won for Fargo. So, yeah, a lot of these, like, the major... You're right, Matt, Mike. The, like, major networks really didn't do anything on here. Mm-hmm. Uh, what the Netflix do anything either? I don't. I don't, I don't think. Nef- I think Netflix had a couple nods for Orange Is the New Black, but I don't think they won anything. Well, that's good for Amazon. Uh, one of the other podcasts that we listened to were talking about how this, like Amazon, has now become like the number two. Right. Right. I actually um, I, over the break at Milango, I actually uh, watched through the rest of uh, Alpha House. Uh, really enjoyed uh, yeah. kind of going through that series. Um, and, and, and yeah, tran- uh, Transcendent. Isn't it transcendent? Transcendent. Transparent. Transparent. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting the name of this one. Um, yeah, I, I, and it's it's on my list. I keep seeing that ad on my on my Fire TV stick, um, and uh, it's, it's definitely one I need to check out. So I, I think I didn't realize it was a comedy. I thought it was like a very serious show, um, and that was part of the reasons why I just kind of haven't jumped into it. So maybe maybe I'll, I will after after all this. So see, I don't believe that it's a comedy. I think they. I don't know how it's they got into that It's probably one of those like category. sad com like Alpha House is a comedy, but it's not a hist- like laugh out loud. It's like a situational kind of comedy kind of situation. But, but I mean, Mad Mike, did you watch Transparent? No, I don't have uh, Amazon Prime, so I pretty much steer clear of that stuff. See, right. like the thing, uh, Sorg, the thing about it that it was it was very captivating. It was almost like it it threw you it told you right off the bat like this is what this is gonna be and then it okay. kind of like not dragged you through but just like slowly just said okay we're just gonna keep deeper and deeper into like this guy's life and the lives of his children and just that's what like it was very raw so i don't maybe the comedy i would love to hear somebody who like would describe like the comedy parts of it like there were some things that were like <laughs> i guess that was funny but compared to the other show you were talking about mm-hmm um yeah like alpha i felt like alpha house definitely well no i guess i guess you're right they're kind of the same part alpha house was was uh good but i don't really remember like besides your your lead uh the guy that ran that incubator and then the quirky guy that ended up dying in real life they just they were just very abstract and bold characters i think you're confusing alpha house with uh silicon valley Oh, you're weird, right. Because then thinking... you're also confusing it with Betas that was an Amazon show that didn't go to a second season. <laughs> but I know what you're saying there. No, Alpha House is the one with John Goodman. Where there are a bunch of Republicans that live in a house um, in Congress. You're right. I did not watch that. No. Forget you everything should. I said. 
You the should, last, though. But the still, last, but, whatever. But, but you're right. This is a coming out party, like they said over on Cord Killers. Um, this is a coming out party for Amazon when we're like, oh, really? They're going to do what? You know what? They're doing a a a, a, a zombie land, you know, preview. Like, that's what I was excited about when they did a pilot for that. Um, and it's really kind of turned into, hey, we actually have some stuff that's worth watching here. Uh, obviously, getting getting recognized at this point, um, their strategy has worked. And, and and how long? It's it's yet another thing. We're not talking about the HBO shows versus Showtime shows anymore. We're talking about the Netflix shows versus the Amazon Amazon Prime shows versus the HBO shows now. When we talk about the stuff that that are, that's really getting people's attention, so. I think it's great. It's an exciting time to be a TV watcher and, and uh, especially a TV watcher with good bandwidth. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, uh, yeah, let's move on to the next story. Sure. Uh, who, pulled, who pulled this one? That would be me. Um, yeah. So apparently there's a rumor going around that uh, Batman vs. Superman, the movie, we're all excited. <laughs> I, I will, I will admit excited. I am. I'm excited. I'm much more excited now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but there's a rumor that it's going to be split into two movies. One coming out this year called Enter the Night, which would be about Batfleck. Mm-hmm. And one coming out next year would be Dawn of Justice. Um, now, uh, Henry Cavill has come out and said that this isn't true. But... I don't know if I necessarily believe that because if it's leaked, of course they're going to say it's not true. Uh, what What do you guys think about a solo Batman movie sometime this year before we get Batman vs Superman and Doomsday and Lex Luthor and all that stuff? <laughs> is that what we're getting into? I, I, I really is that the rumor? What we're getting into? Some Doomsday stuff with that next one? Yep. Wow. That's a huge rumor. Wow, we were, uh, really know. jumped That's in on that. Soon. Yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see what they do. But um, I, hey, if this means we get a little bit of the uh, Batfleck to see what's up a little sooner so we don't have to wildly speculate for yet another year, because let's be honest, um, yeah, I'd be all for it. If, if, if that's, that's what happens and this isn't like a hobbit thing where it's like surprise there's a third movie on this book that's shorter than the other ones um you know <laughs> it, like they can expand this and that's fine and work it out versus trying to squeeze or expand a story that's already there you know um sure i, I have more confidence in this than splitting the harry potter or hobbit movies <laughs> That, that I guess that okay. Well, <laughs> Harry Potter, some of those books, some of those movies should have been split. Oh, okay. okay, unpopular opinion, but um, man, you know how many movies goes, we could have gone out of Lord of the Rings if they let them split them up? Oh my god, I would never hear the end of it. Nope, those still, already should be split up. They, 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 uh, but they, anyway, they still they, they'd still be making them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, about uh, Batman vs Superman. It would make a lot of sense considering all the stuff that they're talking about having in this movie because it seems like with everything they're planning on introducing because there's a whole bunch of new characters and new portrayals that they have to introduce. Like We've heard just alone for one movie that's, just, let's assume, two and a half hours. A new Batman, Wonder Woman, Cyborg, mm-hmm. Lex Luthor, possibly Doomsday, Alfred, uh, Aquaman, like that's a lot of things you have to talk about. If it's going to be yeah. split into two movies, that makes a little bit more sense. And, and it'd be a little weird to be like a, you know, we just enter a world where these things already exist because it feels like they don't when you look at the first movie. Um, what there's a Superman, oh, yeah. you know, versus oh, is it kind of like that guy over and you know, I'm watching. I, I actually was watching some of the Batman anime series, and I've never really watched a lot of the Superman series. And I love like the first episode when he's talking about being Superman uh, to his parents. Is like as long as you're not like that that crackpot in Gotham, you know. Um, I, I love that. <laughs> I absolutely love that. So well, even even in Justice League War, mm-hmm. like that wasn't my favorite of the DC animated movies. Mm-hmm. But the way they treated it, Batman was a legend. Like right. people didn't think he was actually real. And, and that's and that's that's from uh, again from the New Fifty Two where they dropped in and, and yeah. all these things already existed. These weren't all origin stories. We just kind of dropped right into 
all these guys are established. This is a world where there is a Superman, there's a Batman, there's a Green Lantern, and 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 now they're meeting for the first time. Um, and I think that works fine for that. But it, it is that like um, when we make movies, we need to make sure the lowest common denominator is covered here versus cartoons we can play with a little bit i guess uh or it's the attitude so, of the people involved so I, I can see i can see adding a little bit more fluff to batman especially i'm confused about something i thought this was a, an adaptation from the uh batman versus superman of like the dark knight returns that uh no. honestly no one knows what the hell this movie is because the, the only no one, one no one knows. Don't because expect this to be a straight. Suit, the suit supposedly looks like Dark Knight Returns. Yeah, Batman is supposedly older and grizzled, but he's older and grizzled without us having seen any of his olderness or grizzling. Mm-hmm. The, don't expect any of this to be based solely on anything. Just like really was Man of Steel really based on anything, right? Um, yeah, but I, my argument, my argument, or not even argument, my point is like. Even if they did split this, wouldn't it make more sense based on that movie to have Superman first? And I know, like, the problem with that is, like, we already had a Superman movie, mm-hmm. so it's, like, back-to-back Superman movies, but it uh, would make more sense to have that first. Honestly, I don't know. Well, no, because you can, have, you can have the Batman movie be, like, the reaction movie of what happened in Metropolis. Mm-hmm. You can have Batman, like... You can have the oh, yeah. in the cave, like looking at the news report, like, oh my god, I really need to get over to Metropolis and help. Like this is this is ridiculous. Yeah, like, that would be good actually. And it could it could be that. a Batman coming out of retirement too. Like mm-hmm. the way the way I'm picturing this is maybe this Batman has existed years prior, like when when the when the Henry Cavill, like when Clark Kent was a kid. And it was only a legend, you know, and he fought crime, whatever. And then Bane broke his back and he had to hang it up. And then he sees all this destruction in Metropolis and he's like, Alfred, I've got to go back. Like, and he goes to Metropolis and he meets with Lex Luthor and he's like, we need to do something about this. Yeah. Like something like that. I don't know if that's what they're doing. I think what I described is probably better what they're, than what they're doing. <laughs> and I just thought of that now. <laughs> but I like, I like that scenario of like playing off of the crappiness of Dragon Ball Z Superman and saying, well, what the hell? We gotta, can't let this guy go. Um, because right. if, it, if, if, the first, if it starts with Batman and Lex Luthor being on the same team, and then ultimately Batman realizes Luthor is insane... And just wants <laughs> world domination, obviously, as he always does. That's fine, but I don't know. It it seems like seems like we need something like that, like a like a palate cleanser, a little bit. Nice. Uh, well, that I guess we'll wait and see what happens with these rumors because I think this could be this is a very different. This could definitely be very interesting. Um, so there's another big trailer that came out. And I actually saw this during lunchtime, and I did not watch it. So I, uh, I hear that Hulk watch this gets yet? beat up a lot. What you heck? haven't watched this yet? Oh that's no! What I, that's what I said. Oh my oh, god! Oh no! So there's I'm a, sorry. No, there's a new... how, how have you not lived with joy in your life for the past day? <laughs> there's a new Adventures <laughs> Two trailer um, that popped up Saturday or Monday night, and um, it's pretty fantastic. Age of Ultron, uh, of course, and we see more of Ultron. We see a lot of destruction. We see a lot of fighting. A lot of a lot of Hulk fighting. Um, it, it's... And there's there's a really weird scene, which I don't know who it is, but there's a woman or a very shapely figure coming out of, like, a pit Thank in a you. giant cave. That one caught my attention, too, um, because it, it, it like I'm like, well, who is this? Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm really interested in this now I, I, and uh, why well, it was before. But uh, May 1st, so uh, just a couple months away, we're seeing more of it. Uh, really excited for this one. Yeah, and I love how their second trailer, they showed, like, mo- like it wasn't just a lot of rehash of some of the same scenes we've already seen. Mm-hmm. It's all new stuff, basically. And, like, Thor looked like he couldn't control his lightning, which is awesome. Uh, just everything about it looks 
really, really fun. Right. Right. So we're definitely excited about this movie mm-hmm. again. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I will definitely check this out once we're done with the show. Um, all right, so uh, moving on real quick. This weekend's throwdown. We got American Sniper. We got The Wedding Ringer, uh, which is actually, I will, as much as I hate him doing movies, uh, I will give Kevin Hart. This actually looks like it could be funny. It's probably because although he's supposed to be a lead, he's acting more like a supporting role. Well, um, can we Can we just call this what this is? <laughs> what um, is this? <laughs> th- this this movie is hitched. Uh, the it's revamp hitched. of Hitch. <laughs> no, no, no. It's hitched. It's hitch, but with weddings, so it's hitched. There you go. I yeah, we could call it that. Like, I almost want this to be Will Smith and have it be an unofficial sequel. Well, the thing is, like, the only difference between Will Smith and this is like this gives you an excuse to just have that the crazy best man or the crazy groomsman. It's like, oh yeah, Kevin Hart can just literally do like, it's like, what's uh, the black version of the movie where he's like the best man, I think, or something like that. That, <laughs> that might be the movie name. And that, that was just, I could not get through the last best one. Best man's holiday or whatever it is. Yeah, I think so. This is probably like, okay, let's make this for the rest of America. Let's make a movie that people will come and see me oh, be good. silly and stupid. Oh, good. As, as a male white person, I feel included now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and, um, and looking at the, the <laughs> cast of groomsmen, like you have your standard. You have your, your fat guy, your nerdy guy, your weird guy, your nerdy guy, your weird guy, your nerdy guy, and your weird guy. So, <laughs> thanks. Thanks um, for saying that one dude doesn't have any male friends in his life <laughs> like i'm a guy that has a lot of female friends and even i find it ridiculous oh, man. To have one male friend that's the most ridiculous premise i've ever heard of and i've seen a movie where vince vaughn gives birth to about 80 children nice like, yeah it's just ridiculous also, the internship. absolutely ridiculous. Um, instead of Selma, it was also it's a uh, Padding Paddington, which is the uh, bear that comes down in the tub in the house. Which may be the creepiest, like, oh, the creepiest uh, uh, yet sweetest film that uh, will ever come out for a uh, bed children. Um, yeah. Isn't Paddington just talking English, curious George? Basically, that's okay. I want. I wanted to make sure. I mean, if I was going to go to the theaters this week, uh, I honestly would probably go see The Wedding Ringer, just because I know American Sniper is going to be slow. It's going to be depressing. Depressing. <laughs> uh, and really, I don't really, really, really depressing. Yeah. And my daughter's not old enough to drag me to Paddington, so there's no reason to go to that when I don't have to. So. Yeah. Also, oh, and also, there's one more movie coming out. And, and plus, the fact that Clint Eastwood is attached to this it makes it very more depressing. Anyway, there's, what's, what's this other movie? Um, I need a black hat Hathor named Hathaway. That's coming out this week too. Oh, so, uh, is that limited release? I uh, no, I think I think that's coming out wide. But uh, yeah, so if you ever need a black hat Hathor named Hathaway, say that five times fast, which I, you can't. I can't even figure that out to type it for the notes here. Black Hat Hacker named Hathaway. Oh, the Thor Hacker movie. Yeah, the one where Thor oh, knows computers. Oh, okay. I remember seeing a trailer for that. Wow, yeah. that is not got, like, that trailer was so long ago. Yeah, I, I see trailers for it all the time, and I desperately want Black Hat Hacker named Hathaway to be the new seashell she sells by the seashore. <laughs> need a new standard tongue twister. My mind is black ha- hacker named Hathaway is right right at the top of the list. <laughs> My mind is melting. All right, real quick because we have to wrap up. What you guys watch this weekend or this week? So much total divas. I caught up on the last two seasons to get caught up for <laughs> since I, I came it. back from I California. Love it, it's which this is not the show for that. So that is really. 
all I've watched other than wrestling stuff. It's sad. Sword <laughs> deleted what I watched from the document, but I can remember what I watched. Uh, I thought I deleted what I watched. Oh, you're Mike. I'm Sorg. That's right. I'm yes. sorry about that. <laughs> yes, that's, that's how we refer to each other, Sorg. I'm, um, like, I'm like, this is mine. <laughs> All right. Well, I watched two movies and uh, two TV shows. I watched Alexander and the Ver- and the horrible, no good, very bad day. Mm-hmm. Oh, was that um, good? It was actually was really good. I was very surprised by it. I wasn't expecting much, but uh, it's Steve Carell and Jennifer Garner, and they're really good in it. Nice. Uh, it's a it's a cute kid flick. Nice. Yeah, it's very very fun. Um, I only saw it for like two bucks because we have a discount movie theater around here but it was it was definitely worth it i would have been okay with paying full price in the theater for it did you go to the one in say caucus no where do you live i live in poughkeepsie yeah i, live you in live New York. Yeah. No, I don't live anywhere north. near you very uh, far north of where i live all right I, sorry what else did you I, watch i also watched uh let's be cops oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh <laughs> I was hoping. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna say the premise that I watched this movie. Uh, you remember Superbad, right? Yeah. <laughs> Superbad was a fun movie. Yep. They had guys that were cops that were kind of dicks, and they had a lot of fun, and they drank and and shot stuff. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Mm, I'm um, sorry. <laughs> um, what 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 you got was. <laughs> Well, it wasn't that. Um, it wasn't the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. It definitely was not the best. It was not a black hat ha- hacker named Hathaway. Um, <laughs> there, there were a couple fun scenes in it. I thought Damon Wayans Jr. was actually really good. Um, but uh, Red Box it if if you want just a dumb movie to laugh at for a night. Or wait till HBO and see it yeah. for, for less money. Um, if you if you like New Girl, then you'll love. The, it's the same characters from New Girl, and that's that's why it's like, yeah. If you've never well, seen except, it, except without you know, the New Girl. Yes, without because the Zoe Deschanel is not in this movie. That's true. So you're telling me if the New Girl is your anchor to the New Girl, skip this movie. Yes. <laughs> Um, but, well, yeah. as far as TV, as far as TV wise, I am currently binge, binge watching half of last season of Archer so I can catch up and become current. And it is hilarious because it's Archer Vice and, <laughs> and it, it's, it's Danger Zone. It's, it, it's full on Danger Zone. Oh, man. And the last thing I watched, which Sorg watched too, Agent Carter. Mm, so good. Which is so, so good. Can't wrap my head around how. If, if oh, if Lego, you, you need to. You yes. need to, like immediately as soon as we hang up this call, you need to watch the first two episodes of Agent Carter, so you can watch the third episode of Agent Carter. Right, right. Malanga, did you did you like the kind of time period ness of Captain America one? Uh, I mean, it was okay. I did not like it. Okay, he's a lost cause. Don't worry about it, Mike. Let's just <laughs> no, no. What? I, no, what I'm going to tell you, the guys who did Winter Soldier wrote the pilot of Agent Carter. So okay. that that should already hook you. Um, to me, Agent Carter seems like um, Flash. Uh, the Flash guys are the same ones that did Arrow. They learned all their mistakes from the first season of Arrow. And they applied them to Flash, and Flash has been amazing. The people who did Agent Carter saw the first half of the first season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., saw all those mistakes, fixed them, and holy crap, Haley Atwell is awesome. I want Agent Carter to be my lady friend. If I had a TARDIS, I would go back to the 1920s in New York, and I would do that. <laughs> Because she's fantastic, like she carries the entire show. For the really sake, good. for the sake of having something to talk about next week, I will watch the first two episodes. Oh, please! And the one for tonight. Yeah. The first three episodes. There you go. Yes. Do it. 
Mike uh, or Sorg, what'd you watch? We already did me. I, I, I'm addicted to Total Divas, and now I'm caught up, and I have to figure out what to do. Oh, my goodness. Although I did, That's... as I mentioned, I did go back and watch some Superman and Batman anime series because it's on Amazon Prime, and it's the only place you can get them. It's Amazon Prime, and I've been really enjoying that. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did say that. So, All oh, right, uh, I watched side, way oh, too many movies. Oh, side note, side note. So so I'm watching those on there because I have the Amazon Prime or the Amazon TV stick. Uh, if you want a mm-hmm. little review of that, go over to Sorgatron.com uh, from last Friday on, on my podcast there. I did a, do a little review of that if you want to check that out. Go ahead. Sorry. Cool. Is it as good as Gary Busey says it is? Um, well, I don't have the talking. Th- well, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I do have seashells. I haven't done a comparative study yet, uh, but no, I, I, I'd say I agree with the Gary Busey statement. Well, seashells don't even fit into your TV, Sork. No, I've tried. They don't even fit. Oh no! I saw Taken Three. I already told you what I thought about that. Taken Three Point Five or Four. Uh, I saw Book of the Living. I enjoyed Book of the Living. Chan Tatum did not annoy me in that animation. What, what is Book of the Living? I haven't heard of that. Uh, it's an animated series. I uh, don't remember the studio that does it, but it's a smaller studio. Uh, basically, uh, it's like a Mexican folklore, um, but they did a pretty good job of it. So there's the, the top level is us, uh, and then the city below is the... The people that have died. So in Mexico, they celebrate them as the. Is that the Book the, of Life? Is oh. that what? It, oh, sorry, I wrote that wrong. Okay, I was yes. gonna say I thought that I wanted to see if that was. Uh, I like that. It, looked, that was it, was, it was very stylized from the previews. I, I was really interested to check that one out. Yeah, the way they, the way they did it was very cool. Yeah, it's uh, sorry, it's the Book of Life. Um, also, I saw the interview, but we, you guys talked about the interview last week, right? Didn't you talk about the interview? Uh, yes. The interview was not worth all it was rubbed up to be. So that's one that North Korea could have just let that go. They, yeah. Uh, I saw Salma. Salma is uh, depressing, um, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good what movie. Movie of Selma, <laughs> depressing. It's, I mean, we all know why it's depressing, but it's it's good. Um, I saw the Imitation Game. I'd wanted to see that for a while. Uh, that is basically Sherlock uh, being British again. Um, a very interesting uh, historical movie. Um, and I am rewatching Heroes. I got to season two. And don't give up on it. So far, I know, I know season two is rough. Well, I guess. See, here's the problem. I know that the writer's strike happens, but season two starts off very strong. It does. So that's where I that's where I'm worried of when does it dip. Um, you'll notice. You'll notice there will be a lot of uh, the black. <laughs> I, I used to call them the black eyed peas. Uh, you you will notice when there's a noticeable dip. Um, um, I, I remember. Urge, I urge you to push through. I remember specifically when we all watched in the office, Malengo, like the conversations about how much we hated the brother and sister as they were traveling to America. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. I, I always called them the Black Eyed Peas because I refused to learn the names of Maya and Alejandro. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh man. Uh, but yeah, that that's it. In terms of other television, I I don't know what else I'm watching which is sad i just finished i'm almost caught up with uh grim and that was nice. very interesting i like grim a lot but besides that yeah that's where i'm at um are we plugging anything this week sword well uh yes uh, uh, of course uh check out uh uh, uh slice on broadway.com we mentioned them at the beginning of the show and we're trying to try and mention them a little bit more here amongst the other shows because they've been supporting us it's, it's it's over there it's waiting for me about to get get some studio dinner here. Uh, they've been supporting here, supporting great podcasts. Uh, you can check them out sliceonbroadway.com. Follow them on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And they're right here in the South Hills of Pittsburgh. Let them know you learned about a, uh, about them over on uh, the Rambling Movie Minute. And uh, we'll hopefully talk a little bit more about that here in the coming weeks. So, um, but yeah, other than that, uh, yeah, if you want to check out reviews and stuff, sorgatron.com for the things I'm doing. Cool. And what about you, uh, Mad Mike? Where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on the Twitters at Mad Mike four eight eight three. 
Uh, I talk about random things. I talk about wrestling. I talk about movies. And also, I'm going to give a shout out to our good buddy DJ Lunchbox, who does Panel Riot. Mm-hmm. You should listen to that. You should follow it because it's a very nicely done podcast about comics. And if you like hearing us talk about comics, he does it perhaps way better. So do that. <laughs> and you can find me on Twitter at Rambling uh, Mango. And check us, definitely check out our Facebook group. On it is the Rambling Movie Minute on Facebook. Uh, definitely leave comments there. We like to throw up random stuff uh, for discussions of the week. And definitely tell us what movies we should be watching or what and shows also, you would like us also, to watch. Also, leave us videos of you saying a black hat, a black hat hacker <laughs> named Hathaway five times fast because I want to see if anyone can do it. That would be fun. I would, I would enjoy saying that. Uh, but yes, that is for this week, the end of rambling, uh, the Rambling Movie Minute. And until next week, have a Rambling Movie Weekend. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Hi, everyone. Do you like video games? Do you like reading about video games? Do you like listening to podcasts about video games? Why don't you check out insertcointobegin.com? New articles going up daily, and you can check out our podcast, Boss Battle, on sorgatronmedia.com.